to address that. But, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Uh, the Honourable David Parker. Mr Chairman, uh, as prior speakers have said, the uh, Labour opposition supports the Child and Family Protection Bill, which of course uh, on occasions protects uh, children who are being physically abused by their parents. The contradiction that I would like the Minister to uh, speak to in the Chair is, is why in this week, when they are pretending that they are going to do something to improve the outcome of abused children, why they are taking away the right of abused children to, to receive some fair recompense from the estate of their father who may have abused them following death, because that's what the government is doing this same week. And I asked the minister to get to his feet and explain how it can be right to take away the effective right of an incest victim to make a claim against their deceased parent under the Family Protection Act by allowing the whole of the estate to be gifted, by the whole of the estate to be gifted, which is the effect of the changes to gift duty which the government is pushing through this week. It seems to me to stand in stark contrast to this bill which the Labour opposition supports, which uh, does give protection to children including children who are abused by their parents. Mr. Speak, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, this uh, bill does make some wise amendments to the Care of Children Act, and it sets out uh, procedures for dealing with applications for day-to-day -day care of or contact with children where there is an allegation that one of the parties has used violence against the child or, and that can be sexual violence, could be alleged um, uh, sexual molestation of a child. Now, that's, uh, that is a laudable thing to do, but we know that in a society that sometimes happens. It's terrible when it does happen. It's terribly sad that on sometimes when it happens, the parents who are, become estranged from their children and blame the child. And I'm sure anyone who's practised in this area of law Charles Chevelle will know this, I know this, the former um, uh, race relations conciliator who, who was involved in the Families Commission will know this. On occasions, the family, in just though it is, they blame the child. They become estranged from the child, and the child uh, who has been the defenceless victim of incest uh, is left estranged from the family and are on occasions cut out of the will. Under New Zealand law, the Family Protection Act until now allows that child to make a claim against the estate, alleging that the, 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 the testator, has, the person that's died, has breached their moral duty to that child by cutting them out of the will. That law has been on New Zealand's books since 1950, the Family Protection Act. And this bill makes similar things for the protection of children. And yet the government this same week Order. is taking away... Well, Mr. Mr Chairman, I'm asking the Minister to explain why we should be in this bill extending the protection of children and how he reconciles that with taking away those children's rights under the Family Protection Act because those assets can be gifted out of the estate in the week before someone dies or <coughs> years... Order. Um... When we're in committee stage, we're in the committee stages of what's reported back in the bill, and I've cautioned the member twice to come back to that and ask the member to continue in that vein. Uh, Honourable David Parker. Mr Chairman, uh, Mr. Chairman this bill makes uh, changes to the child and family protection legislation which are aimed at doing justice to a child who suffers violence. I am asking the Minister how he can pretend that he is uh, advancing the interests of children when just yesterday he, in this House, in fact the vote might have gone through today, did it? Order. I'm not sure. That when, Mr Chairman, I am asking the Minister to justify why, on the one hand, that is right, but on the, on the other hand, he can justify taking away the rights of an incest victim to have a remedy against the estate Order. of a deceased parent. Order. Just hold it. I've just um, said that 
the Minister has no responsibility for a bill that's not currently before us. And um, I've asked the member, this is my third occasion, to concentrate on the report back from the, from the Select Committee and what are the clauses in this bill, the parts, that's what we're debating. The member has 13 seconds. No call? Yeah. So, well, I will, Mr Speaker, because I think that the Minister should get to his feet and explain the inconsistencies in respect of this government's attitude to child protection laws. Yeah, yeah. Mr Chairman. I'll call Charles Chevelle. Thank you, Mr Chairman.